Right, I'm finally back in the workshop. I've been slowly working away an hour here, an hour there on all the serving platters and the charcuterie boards. These will, at some point, possibly even by the end of this video, be up on the website ready for sale. So the full boards were air dried when I bought them, but I cut them down and planed them last year. So they've had another 12 months and they're really stable now. Now most of them, you can see I've left the natural edge. I kind of like that because it's easy to pick up. I would have put a chamfer anyway if I if they'd been square edge. So I thought make the most of that. So it's all completely cleaned back and sanded, but it's got more of a natural edge there. And then we'll be uh, stamping them on the bottom. Right, it's time to jump into finishing. That's the fun bit when we can see what they're actually gonna look like. I'm gonna put two or three coats at least on the big boards. The small ones have already had three coats, but they've been sat for a year, storage. So the oil I'm using is the Osmo Top Oil. It's kind of a food safe oil and it's quite easy to apply. I put a bit of wood along the back there so there's a minimal amount touching. So we can do both sides at once and just lean them up against. And what I'll do is just put a tiny screw underneath that means that there's hardly anything touching a surface. Before we get to see what the oil does to this nice uh, figured wood, 
I thought I would mention a couple of the products which are now on the website which weren't before. Thank you to everyone who has bought a raffle ticket. I don't know the grand total yet and we will announce it probably on Instagram uh, when we have a figure but it's getting on for £2,000 that we raised from that little simple video I did last week so we, were, we just weren't expecting that at all so massive thank you to you guys for uh, ever, well, to everyone who's bought a ticket. Joe has actually written them all out because so many people bought 10 or 20 even uh, tickets at a time. So uh, we had a bit of logistics to go through, work all that out, uh, but we will be doing the draw, I think Joe said on the 19th. So keep an eye out for that. And if you remember that raffle actually included one of these boards that we're doing now, along with a whole host of other things, including our timber frame uh, prints that we've started doing. And these are some prints that We've basically been holding back a few offcuts from previous projects. So far we've kept back some timbers from the oak porch project as well as the timber frame that I'm in now which is the Douglas fir. Now what we've done is we've used the end grain of an offcut of the beam and Joe has used that, the relief of the grain to create a piece of art. So we've mounted those and they're for sale on the website and as we do more and more timber framing projects up at the farm when we're restoring the roof trusses and all the various things we've got planned up there, we're gonna do a little um, print. So hopefully, over the course of time, we'll have a little gallery of all of our projects. And last but not least, there's one more stocking filler, but I'll come to that in a minute. Let's get the oil going. That stamp's really standing out now, it's oiled. That's cool. Right, give it one final wipe. Now I promised you another stocking filler. Uh, as you, a lot of you will know, Isotunes are one of our uh, partners here on the channel and they give us a code which you guys can use. You'll always be able to get that 10% off any of their products with our code, but for December they've done a Christmas um, promo and they've given us a code which gives you 30% off the Isotunes Pro set. What they did is looked at all of our audience figures from what you guys have been buying through our code and this is the uh, one of the most popular models. Look at that one. That is a beauty, that one. So if you want to take advantage of that, you can click the link down in our description. It should add it automatically, the code automatically. Otherwise, you can find that code down there as well. And uh, get yourself a pair of those. I've never actually read the back of the bottle on best ways to apply this stuff. But as with most of the times when I'm using a wood finish, especially Osmo, it all depends on the project because sometimes you, if it's a floor or doors, you might be using a roller or a brush. If it's a piece of furniture, it's just a nightmare to try and do that. So it's easier to just use a cloth or a rag and kind of work it around with, by hand. And it's the same with these. The oil goes on pretty thin and you don't, don't want it to go on thick because it, it's quicker to put on three thin coats than it is to wait for one thick coat to dry, especially if it's in a workshop where it's not particularly warm. Um, these are starting to dry already, certainly these small ones are. So I kind of put it on in excess and then come back five minutes later and then wipe off the excess with a rag that I can kind of carry on onto the next one. And there's nothing scientific about the uh, application either. I'm using 
kitchen towel, which is just the easiest thing to have on hand, and it never leaves fluff. You know, if you're using a tissue, for example, then it can leave lots of fluff. So if you're framing a picture or anything like that, or polishing glass, I always find that kitchen roll is the best thing for it. And in the same way, it doesn't tend to break down when you're using it to wipe on oil. Maybe on the last coat, I could use a proper lint-free cloth, but for 99% of the time, kitchen towel is perfect for this. And by just going with the grain, it's just getting the streaks out. So when you first put it on, you can kind of go a little bit thicker. But if you left it to dry like that, it would, it doesn't soak in like a pure oil because this is slightly thicker. It's more, more like one of their wax oils. So I'm just making sure that when I wipe it, I'm just going with the grain and it'll leave it nice and smooth. I don't think we'll need to sand in between. A bit of wire wool, it's quite good. This is the matte one anyway, so we shouldn't get too much satin sort of gloss look to it. So it should finish nice and smooth looking. It's pretty thirsty, that end grain as well, so I will use one of the saturated cloths just to put a little bit more on. Funnily enough, the sauna where I bought this board of Spolter Beach from is the same one that cut all of my logs down for the frame. So they, I mean, if you want to find, if you want to watch a true traditional sawmill in action, head over and find that video. I'll try and link to it at the end of this one. They took down um, the Douglas fir trees, essentially, that we ordered and uh, milled everything down into all of our dimensional beams. And then we had them delivered rough sawn and we planed them down to, to the finishing thickness. But they specialised in some native, well, all native hardwoods. I've actually got two or three other nice bits of timber from there. One is a really heavily burred piece of oak. It's kind of pippy oak and burr oak, all kind of on this really gnarly bit of wood. Um, I'm a, I had planned to do a lighting feature from that. Not going to get around to it here, but hopefully we'll take it with us and do something with it at the farm. Right, I'm going to go clean my hands off, we'll get all these finished this week, get them all photographed in the studio, put up on the website and they'll be ready for the weekend. Now of course I've never got enough time to do these things, so hence why they're not ready now, but I've got two final sections there, uh, too long, too thin to be a serving board, however what I'm going to do, I've left the natural edge on them, these are going to be finished up in the same way, oiled, and then I'm going to forge some hooks, some steel hooks and get them knocked out on the anvil and we'll have some pegboards, coat hooks, ready for the cabin. We might make one for ourselves and one we'll put on the website anyway. But that's enough, I'm finished, dinner is calling. Thank you very much again for all your support with the raffle. We will hopefully have a total before Christmas that we can share with you and tell you how much we've raised because it's truly outstanding. Well done team. But we'll leave it there. Thanks for watching. Remember if you can, do it yourself and we'll see you next time.